tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, officially at the airport here in Cincinnati, a little over two inches of snow. That was about an hour or so ago, and it's still snowing. So we're adding to that total out there. 24 degrees right now at the airport. The winds are picking up out of the north, and they're bringing in progressively colder air. That's the reason why, once the sun went down in combination with the loss of sunlight, in addition to the colder temperatures moving in, the reason why we've seen roads deteriorate so quickly across much of the area. Now, right now, over the next couple of hours, really, the snow will continue to be heavy at times, especially south and east of. Of Metro Cincinnati. It looks like within the next few hours, let's call it 2, 3 a.m., the snow will begin to end for about the metro area points north and west. The snow will continue though south and east. And looking at some of the late night computer model guidance, it wants to hang on to the snow southeast of Cincinnati. That means areas along and south generally of the Ohio River and then back through parts of Brown, Adams County, maybe Highland County, for example. It wants to hang on to the snow a little bit longer. And it's possible southeast of Cincinnati, southeast of the metro area, it may still be snowing to some degree for the morning rush. And if that's the case, Without doubt, there will continue to be travel problems through the morning. But by and large, it looks like the heaviest snows will begin to end by 3 or 4 a.m. Here's a look at the storm system. This is the big picture. And you can see this corridor of snow here right along in north and south of the Ohio River hasn't really been moving all that much. Gradually, what's been happening is drier air works its way in from the north. It's slowly shutting off the snow. And you can see that here with these heavier bands or stripes of snow kind of lining up south and east of Cincinnati. Hence the reason why I think. It's going to continue to snow a while longer the farther south and east you move of the metro area. That said, here's a look at Power of Five Live radar. You can see in the metro the snow certainly letting, letting up now, especially on the north side, parts of Butler into Franklin counties in Indiana and then Warren County. The snow really beginning to let up some, but it's still pretty steady within the 275 loop. And then when you see some of these uh, stripes of heavier blue down across parts of Owen and Grant County from Owen and over towards Falmouth, that's still some pretty hefty snowfall. And then that snow going to continue at a pretty good clip again south and east of the metro area. But you can see gradually how the blue becomes less and less dominant, and that's indicative of the drier air trying to move its way into the area. Quick recap on those snowfall totals. Much of southeast Indiana right now, one to two inches. By the time all is said and done, many of you will have about three or four. And then across Kentucky, that's been the big winner, Crittenden, Maysville, four, four and a half. And in those areas, I do think you're going to tack on about another three or four inches of snow. For example, Maysville, as we go throughout the night, that will bring you into that seven to eight range that we were forecasting southeast of the metro area. And then here in Ohio, you could probably tack on maybe another inch to an inch and a half. And that bring us into the four or five range. Batavia, Aberdeen, Hillsboro here, Sharonville probably going to tack on about another half an inch to maybe three quarters for the lighter amounts on the north side of the metro area. Look at temperatures. They have continued to fall throughout the evening. Everyone generally right now in the low to mid 20s, and that means that snow is sticking to everything. This is a large storm system. It stretches from Texas all the way to the Atlantic states. The good news is that as the drier air continues to work its way in, notice that area of snow continues to shrink up some. That said, that snow's not going anywhere over the next couple of days. While we might not set records tomorrow morning, it does look like we'll come very close Thursday night and Friday morning as we drop below zero. We'll probably come very close to tying a record that was set back in 1960. So here's a look at Futurecast. Notice how it's hanging on to the snow again southeast of Interstate 71. That's why we've thought throughout the entire time the heavier totals would be across parts of northern Kentucky and then into south central Ohio. And notice even at 6 a.m. It really doesn't move it all that much. And then finally, it starts to get its act together and clear out towards about 6 or 7 in the morning tomorrow. So that's why I say southeast of the metro area, there still could be some snow flying come morning rush tomorrow morning, which undoubtedly will cause school closings and keep the roads a mess overnight. And the skies clear out tomorrow night for our temperatures to plummet down below zero. So 15 by tomorrow morning with rough roads again across the area. Many of them are snow covered. 23 for a high tomorrow. We'll start with clouds. Then we'll get into a little bit of sun during the afternoon. Here's a look at your day planner. The first half of the day, though, will be spent in the teens. Notice only up to 17 by lunchtime and then maybe into the low 20s with a few peaks at the sun late. Here's your seven day forecast. It's frigid around here through Friday. We won't start to melt any snow until the weekend when temperatures climb into the 40s. And dare I say, Mike and Sheree, maybe close to 60. By the end of next week. Dare you say it? I want you to say it. I'll dare you to <laughs> say it again. It. All right, thank you. A big win in March.